I want to speak to those who have been dealing with temporary comforters. Temporary comforters are those that come into your life and it's a very short term. You keep meeting people that say that they're going to come in your life and be with you. They're making plans with you. But before you know it, they are gone. God wants to bring you into a place of holiness and wholeness. This is for the ones that always think that you need somebody to complete you. But what you need to understand is the same person that you think completes you will delete you. Because when they leave, you are nothing. God wants to make you whole. There is nobody else to make you whole. God makes us whole within. So that when you show up in somebody else's life and they show up in your life, it's not 50-50, it's 100-100. You're coming in your fullness. You're coming in your wholeness. Come on now. I want to speak to you because you are the ones that, that deal with a lot of agony. You have operated from a place of being heartbroken and also dealing with disappointments. I know that we are in a society that's always searching for somebody to be our peace and our happiness. But you got to understand that that peace and happiness lies within you. That's within you. It can't be with somebody else. See, until you become whole, until you become full, you're going to always bring in somebody who's just going to come and take from you. You have to have that kingdom vision so where you can recognize when somebody is not whole, when they're not full. Because usually when somebody's not full, what they going to do? They going to come eat off you. Come on now, you better catch them diamonds. This is a revelation that I got just last night. God wants to bring you into holiness and wholeness. No more heartbreaks for you. But there is some internal work that you need to do in your life. This is why it's going to continue to happen until you become whole. Nobody else possess your happiness. You have it. You understand? Because when people come in and not your life, you got to be to a point where you keep living. Matter of fact, you keep thriving. So when they look back at you, you are still moving. Nothing stopped you. You have to have the mentality of you becoming the main character in your life. Nobody else. This is your story. Everybody have a story. You see what I'm saying? You are the main character in your story. And the people that come into our life, they just play a part in it. When they leave, the story is not over. Come on now. You go to another chapter. That is the mentality you have to take on. That is what helped me overcome. Dealing with those type of disappointments. You see what I'm saying? So we'll stop praying that God will allow people to stay in our life that shouldn't even be there in the first place. This is how you get over things and move, move forward. You see what I'm saying? When people leave our life, that just means their part is over. And yes, you know, we wanted them to be there. But the truth of the matter is, they don't belong there. You see what I'm saying? They played their part. They played their part. If God wanted them there, they'll be there. Trust me. You have to learn how to get along. Go on with your life. You are the main character in your story. Nobody else. One of the most powerful things that you could learn to do is release somebody when God says their time is up. That is powerful. Because when you learn how to release people or places or things, when the time is up, you won't sit there crying in front of a closed door. You won't hold your life up. Yes, we may hurt. We may go through things. But once you know how to release them, when the time is up, you will move forward in life quickly. And you know another thing? Once you learn this, you will no longer feel like you lost anything or anybody. You see what I'm saying? You better catch them diamonds. You have to develop this. This is why I'm speaking to those who have dealt with temporary comforters. You have to know those people when you see them. You're going to continue to repeat that same thing until you become whole, until you become full within yourself. That means you lack nothing. You see what I'm saying? But when you feel like you lack something, internal happiness, you're going to look for it in other people. And they don't have it. Because sometimes people are not always happy. They can't be your peace and you can't be theirs. It's best that you come with your own peace. <laughs> you got to come with your own peace. So therefore, when they're going through a storm and they're going through a lot of stuff that you don't want to deal with, guess what? You have peace within you. That's their fight, not yours. 
You can help the best way you can. But you don't let their storm become your storm. Come on now, catch them diamonds. I just want to speak to you. God is bringing you into a place of holiness and wholeness. No one should complete you but God, not another person outside of you. Catch them diamonds.